I'm Callan Hom, and here's some of the stories making headlines locally. A local news station in Northern California is mourning the loss of one of their own. Police say a man was shot Tuesday during an attempted armed robbery of a news crew in Oakland. That man, identified as Kevin Nishida, was pronounced dead Saturday. Cron 4 News says Nishida was working security for their crew when the robbery happened. Oakland police have released a surveillance photo of a white sedan they believe was involved. A $27,000 reward is offered for help in making an arrest. Nishida previously worked for the San Jose Police Department. Well, the Thanksgiving travel crunch is in full swing. AAA predicts more than 53 million Americans will travel for this week's holiday. That's a 13% jump from last year, and it's a big rebound to near pre-pandemic levels. Weather is agreeable across most of the U.S. Wind gusts from Dallas to Chicago, as well as possible snow in the Intermountain West, could cause problems, though. The TSA anticipates today we'll see a big surge with the air travelers returning home. The Chabad of Bakersfield will be hosting their annual Light Up the Night event tonight. The public menorah lighting is at the Marketplace starting at 5. The family celebration will feature live music, face painting, and more. It is all free to the public. Switching gears now and taking a look at our weather forecast as we head into our Sunday, it's going to be pretty nice out there and warming up a little bit. We're expecting a high of around 70 degrees and we're just under there tomorrow and Tuesday. Wednesday, we're back in those low 70s and sticking around there all the way through next weekend. Air quality wise, you can expect some haze. We are still in that unhealthy for sensitive groups range. Now take a look at our mountains. We're even warmer out there. We're at 79 today for Lake Isabella and sticking there through Tuesday. We could reach 80 on Wednesday and then slowly cooling off a little bit into those mid to lower 70s through next weekend. As for Tehachapi and Fraser Park, a little bit cooler but not too bad. We're in those upper 60s today and should stick right around there all the way through Friday, cooling off just a little bit into those mid-60s next Saturday. That's a look at what's making headlines. We'll have another update later today.